Tomo News presents Deep Sea Creatures. Ancient Worm Monster Found in the Philippines Scientists have known about the giant shipworm for centuries, but none have seen a living, breathing specimen until now. Giant shipworms aren't actually worms, but bivalves, like clams and mussels. They live in three-foot-long tubular shells, planted in muddy, shallow bays. This unicorn of the mollusk world was recently discovered hanging out in the southern part of the Philippines. A local TV segment about the creatures tipped off a team from Northeastern University. They went to a lagoon in Mindanao, Sultan Kundara province and managed to collect five live worms. Back in the lab, researchers cut off one end of the shell and took out the slimy black baseball-sized mass of flesh. Unlike the common shipworm, which feeds on rotting wood, its giant cousin has bacteria in its gills that churn out nutrients from carbon dioxide. It still has digestive organs despite its unique mode of survival, but they're tiny from lack of use. It's not clear how many of the weird-looking creatures are left in the wild, so the team is keeping the exact location of the shipworm home a secret. Locals, though, have been harvesting the giant worms for years, eating it as an aphrodisiac, medicine, and just a tasty side dish. Terrifying Living Fossil Captured in Australia A fishing trawler off southern Australia captured a rarely sighted creature, puzzling the fishermen who caught it. The gruesome-looking creature was pulled out of the water near Lake's entrance, Victoria. The two-meter-long sea serpent is actually a frilled shark. Confirmed by Australia's Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, CSIRO. The frilled shark is one of two surviving species which haven't changed in 80 million years. The prehistoric creature's mouth contains 300 teeth in 25 rows, good for keeping its prey from escaping its jaws. Its common name comes from the frilly appearance of its six pairs of gill slits. It has an eel-shaped body with dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins placed far back. This one was netted in 700 meters of water, but the living fossil is usually found in 1,500 meters of water or deeper. According to ABC, CSIRO declined the specimen, so the frilled shark has now been sold for cash. Pictures of deep sea fishermen's strange harvest go viral. Just when you needed reminding of the absolute bizarre things that evolution has filled our world with, along comes Russian fisherman Roman Fedostov and his Twitter account. Well, let's back up. Fedostov is a deep sea harvester based out of Murmansk in Russia's frigid far northwest. He's been cataloging the strange finds his trawler pulls up from the deep ocean, including species that live up to 5,000 feet down. A lot of this stuff isn't intentionally harvested, but turns up in the trawling nets anyhow. This is known as bycatch. But it sure is fascinating, and Fedorstov's sharing it with the internet. His Twitter account, where you can find these and other incredible images, now has a healthy 83,000 followers. Did scientists just find the world's oldest living creature? Short answer, possibly, but probably not. You may have seen viral news on your social media feeds claiming that scientists recently found a Greenland shark that is more than half a millennia old. But the shark, one of 28 observed, most likely isn't that old. The science study they all link to is actually from August of 2016. The study's lead author, Julius Nielsen, took to Instagram with a screen grab of a headline. Writing on Instagram, Nielsen said, Please note that we have not found any sharks to be 600 or 500 years old. He explained the shark in question was estimated to be between 272 years old and 512 years old. Though the Greenland sharks are always cool, whatever the weather. They love chilling in frozen waters and aren't apex hunters like other sharks. They live like vultures, scavenging fish, or even the remains of reindeer and polar bears. Also, they don't hunt humans. Well, not that we know of, but they can be eaten in Iceland as fermented shark meat. 
faceless fish found in the abyss. Australian scientists have discovered a faceless deep-sea fish off Australia's east coast during a month-long expedition. The sampling the abyss expedition begins from Bell Bay, Tasmania and ends in Brisbane. The investigator research vessel is equipped with multi-beam sonar that can map the structure of the seafloor. The expedition surveys the abyssal level, up to 6,000 meters deep in the ocean. Sleds, dredgers, and grabbers are deployed in order to collect samples of animals and sediment. Scientists said animals in the abyss are often small and move slowly, and many of them don't have eyes or produce their own light through bioluminescence. Wow. Researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Okeanos Explorer spotted a remarkable sight of a deep-sea spider waltzing during their third dive of their 2017 Gulf of Mexico mission. Have a look. I've never seen one swimming. No. So Tina thinks this is from the order Pantopoda. That's a translation of Pantopoda is all legs, so it's a very appropriate name. Australian Museum in Sydney receives specimen of living fossil goblin shark. Hi, I'm Mark McGruther. I'm the Fish Collection Manager here at the Australian Museum. We're here in the Australian Museum sorting and receiving lab because we have a goblin shark, which is very, very cool. The scientific name is wonderful, Mitsukarina austenai. These are amazing looking animals. As you can see, they're fairly soft and flabby looking. They don't have very strong muscles. They're kind of pinky color, gray fins. But the most amazing thing about these is their incredible jaws. What happens with this sort of shark is they actually swim Along the bottom in deep water there, swimming about you know, 300 metres down to maybe 900 metres down off the coast of numerous places, the Pacific, Atlantic and the Indian. And what they'll do is they'll use this amazing snout of theirs. There are pores in this snout and behind each of those pores is a little ampule it's called. These are the ampule of Lorenzini and they can detect electricity. And what this fish does when it detects electricity from perhaps a crab or a fish or whatever its prey is, it lowers the bottom jaw and then the whole mechanism shoots forward and manages to spear whatever prey it's after. And unlike other sharks like whalers and white sharks and um, tiger sharks, it's got, as you can see, very, very pointy teeth. And these teeth are used to spear the prey, not to actually cut it. So this fish will generally be swallowing prey whole. This is the fourth specimen I've seen. I've seen two large ones over three metres long and another small one, similar size to this. So they're not encountered terribly often, and when they do come here, uh, it's a very special day. Monster giant squid caught in waters of Japan. Japanese fishermen caught a giant squid in Hyogokan on Tuesday. The giant squid measured 30 feet long and weighed in at nearly 440 pounds. You would think capturing giant sea creatures would be a happy event for fishermen, but this super gigantic squid apparently is not a good news for Japanese fishermen and fear it could be some kind of bad omen. One of the Japanese fishermen said he was in the sea collecting shells when he discovered the giant squid. As soon as the gigantic creature was holding to shore, it was surrounded by a group of kids who began playing with its tentacles. Several other giant squid have been caught in the past winter in several locations off the Japanese coast, causing some to worry that the phenomena could be a sign of an impending devastating earthquake. Experts say such squids usually live around 100 meters below the surface. Living in such dark environments gives them very sensitive feelings to their surroundings. The squids may have felt something dangerous that caused them to flee to shallow waters. This 30 feet long giant squid ended up being made into sashimi, However, people who tried it said it stinks badly and tastes like sh**.